Alzheimer's disease is a brain disease that affects usually older adults over the age of 65, where a person begins to experience symptoms like forgetfulness, uh, inability to uh, follow along in a conversation in the same manner that they're used to, a reduced ability to multitask at their usual level, and these symptoms all together manifest as, as a, it, and it kind of intrusive in a person's life. Usually the symptoms are mild, but over time Alzheimer's disease is progressive, and so the symptoms worsen over time. Usually an individual will um, require the help of loved ones in order to live their life, and ultimately for some people they lose their ability to function independently in their day-to-day -day lives. We're, we're, we're still trying to understand all the different mechanisms that come together that cause Alzheimer's disease and you know one of one of the earliest uh, pathological changes that occur in the brain is the accumulation of a protein called beta amyloid and this protein when it builds up it becomes toxic in the brain and it forms plaques and there are other sorts of structures in the brains uh, that is affected by, by proteins called tau, that, that all of these misfold and ultimately lead, the cells can't communicate in the way that they usually do. And so this leads to atrophy in the brain and this, these leads to changes. So the brain cells die as a result of the accumulation of these toxic proteins. And when brain cells die, it's, uh, it causes this atrophy that can be visible, for example, on MRI. But that usually happens in later stages of, of Alzheimer's disease. Even during what, what we currently diagnose as early Alzheimer's disease, we can see this shrinkage of the brain or this atrophy of the brain. But there are changes that occur much, much earlier than that, up to two decades before a person develops any symptoms at all, we can detect that there is the presence of this accumulating protein in the brain, and we can see it on what's called an amyloid PET scan.